Hey guys, Lukey, and welcome to the first episode of my Juventus career mode. Now, obviously, you can see here, just got to select the uh, manager career and kind of set it all up. We're not going to take any increases or anything. I really cannot be bothered doing that. Let's go ahead and go and pick Juventus. And the reason for me picking Juventus is basically they're the top side, but they haven't been able to win the Champions League last few years. And that's the ultimate goal. And I wanted to pick a side that's relatively good. I, I really can't be stuffed uh, playing with all those lower league teams. I've been there, done that. I've already done a Swansea one. Let's uh, just play with Juventus. It should be a lot of fun. We'll download the squad to do all the European stuff. I'll set that up and I'll come back in a second. Okay, so we've been drawn in Group D with Real Madrid, Wolfsburg and Club Bruges, which uh, should be all right. We should be able to get out of that group, I reckon. So you can see there, legendary, six minutes, leaving everything else, leaving it at Sterling. I'm not going to do dollars, even though it's Australian, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at Sterling for the English viewers. Uh, let's go ahead and advance and create our guy. Okay, so there we go. That's the creation of Jose Luquinho. And uh, yeah, that's all of it. Let's go ahead and advance into the proper career mode. I'm pretty excited. Okay, pre-season tournament invite. Let's go ahead and advance to the invites, take a look at them. Do we go for the sure thing? We can smash all these teams, I reckon. That one looks to be the hardest. This one, we can beat a fair few of those sides, I reckon. Let's go for this. Uh, let's go for the hardest one, I reckon. Okay, trying to look at all our league objectives and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so they're mostly judged on their success in the league, and they've decided that we need to win the league. That's a fair, it's a fair assessment, I reckon. Okay, so they reckon we should look for a fullback. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we're stocked up on left backs for memory. Right back though could be an, a bit of an issue. Uh, you know what? I'm actually thinking, just so we can go against the grain of a lot of career modes and go for someone relatively sort of unknown. I think we want to go for David Alaba to Juventus. By the way, that was a joke. I'm not being serious about that, just in case. Domestic Cup, they want us to win that too. It's fair, it's fair, I think, as well. And the American Cup Challenge, I'm assuming they want us to win it. During the group stages, okay, whatever. Can't really be bothered reading it. I think we should take a look at our first squad reports. Let's see, Buffon retiring at the end of the season. Shit. Now, it kind of makes sense why they always sign, like, Larice or someone. That keeper. Uh, anyways, Luke Steiner, 31 years old, also getting on. He'd probably be retiring in the next few seasons, slash going down. So that's, I understand, the fullback. Position. We've got Barzagli, another oldie, contract expiring in 12 months. Benucci, uh, Evra, contract expiring, don't know if we'll resign him. Quadrado, he's on loan from Chelsea. Might have looked at a right mid, but probably not at the moment. Kadira, uh, Marchisio, or Marchisio, whatever. Pogba, the main man, Pogba, uh, Diabella. It's, it's pretty funny. I mean, these are the two go-tos that everybody used to sign on FIFA, and we've got them already starting at the club. Even Morata a little bit as well. Um, Regani, looks to be a good one. Zaza, Serraro, Nato is a pretty decent keeper. Like, 79 rating, 25. Maybe he could fill in for uh, for Buffon next year. Who knows? Uh, Pereira, uh, Lamina, Sandro, Asamoah, Caceres, Mandzukic, good player. Uh, Chiellini, or Chiellini will come straight into the side. Padoyan and Aldi. Um, don't know this guy, don't know that guy, don't know that guy, don't know that guy. Not going to bother with any of those guys. we got the face, we got... Benu Mazouk doesn't look particularly good. Hernanez is quite good. I'm very aware of Hernanez. Rubinho, another decent one we can use every now and again, maybe. Um, Kings of Coman, obviously on loan, but I'm pretty sure he's moving to them permanently. Don't know how that goes in the game, though. It could be completely different. Anyways, uh, looking at this formation, it's not really the formation for me. I think I run with a 4-1-2-2 with, uh, with wingers. Okay, so looking at this formation... Pretty happy with the back line, although I would like to get either a replacement for Licksteiner or a backup for him. I mean, he's quite old, um, but he is a pretty decent player, 82 rating. Uh, we've brought in Chiellini for Bonucci. You might be thinking, why wouldn't you play Bonucci as the younger one? But for the time being, Barzagli, he's the better one, obviously, and he's a bit quicker. Just seems like a better player all around, and if he starts dropping, well, then we'll, we'll swap him around. I'm sure Bonucci will get a, a lot of game time. Also, Alexandro. He's younger and he's better than Patrice Evra. Obviously, Evra off contract as well, so why not try and get Sandro? He's the future of the club. Marquezio, um in at the centre uh, defensive mid spot. Could play Kadira, but I think Kadira, a little bit too uh, slow at the moment. I'm going to go with Marquezio, who's a little bit more versatile, and he's, he's quite good as well. Uh, the only thing that worries me is a little bit is the work rates. Pogba in the cam position, probably not someone... You know, everyone seems to play him at the CDM role, but... I think Cam, he can easily play there. Um, in fact, I think he's more suited for the Cam role. Uh, on the wing, Pereira, not exactly who we want, but 
just for right now. I think he can fill in on the wings. Um, obviously, six foot is quite big, but uh, yeah, I think he can do a decent job out on the wings. And Quadrado, he's he's already there, obviously on the right mid. Nothing changes. Um, and yeah, the strikers. I'm pretty happy with the strike. The strikers that we've got. We've got Manzukic, Dabella, we've got Morata, and we have uh, where is he? Just gotta find him. So we got Zaza as well, and they're all very, very good players. In fact, Zaza I actually used um, in Ultimate Team on Road to Glory at the very start. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try and get a left winger in, or two, maybe even, uh, maybe a keeper as a backup. I'm not really sure, um, but I think we definitely need to get a right back as well. Maybe even another right mid. Who knows? Okay, so I've just uh, added in slash changed some scout instructions. Right back. Uh, now, I was originally listed as looking for a left back. I really don't understand that at all. Alexandre, a left back, plus Patrice Ever. Like, we're pretty well stocked there. Right back is the main problem I see. So I've changed it to right back. We're looking for a left midfielder as well, considering we don't have one at all. And a goalkeeper as well, just looking for a replacement for um, Buffon when he uh, hangs up the boots. Okay, Champions Cup objective has come in. They want us to reach the final. Fucking hell, no pressure. They want us to win nearly everything. But that's okay, we've got a great squad. In terms of international duty, you can see Pereira, Sandro, Quadrado, Caceres, all the guys, all the uh, South American lads. Okay, so I've identified a few people. I just need to wait for their values and that. But um, these are a few people. So Aurea for right back, I'm really keen on. Uh, Yessi, uh, I think is how you pronounce it. And Insigne. One of the two, maybe even both, who knows. But... I'm leaning towards Insigne just because, because, obviously, he's, he's a left wing. He looks really good. I assume he's better than um, Hesse as well. And the only problem is he's valued very, very high. But um, he looks to be an absolute gun based off his little stats there. Very good physicals, which is very important for a winger. But um, I know he's a good player in the past. And he's Italian, which is a huge thing for me as well. don't want to go and buy like all these different foreigners. Just because I want to keep it kind of realistic, I suppose. Eden Hazard. Do we throw in a cheeky little inquiry for Eden Hazard? He could be a good signing. While I'm at it, I've just come back to this. I'm actually just going to throw an inquiry to all these guys just to see how much they're going to cost. So let's go ahead. Insigne is what I'm really keen on, to be honest. Oh yeah, 25.5. I really don't buy that for a second that they're going to actually want 25 and a half. We will, however, wait for his scout report to come back, see what he's actually rated. Okay, so the scout report's come back on Lorenzo Insigne. 82 rated. He actually looks really, really good. Actually, a little bit better than I thought it was going to be. But at 24 years old, I think we can definitely go ahead and throw in an offer for him. How much, I'm not really sure. We've got an inquiry yet to come back. But, uh, yeah, hopefully hopefully we can get him. He looks really good. Okay, they just have no interest at all at selling Insigne. Let's have a look at Jesse. 14 million. I don't buy it for a second. We'll get him uh, for a lot cheaper. As they didn't figure they would actually want to sell him. But let's go ahead and throw in an offer for Insigne. Let's throw in a bit of... 9 million plus Asamoah. Yeah, see, they want 14 for him. Let's go ahead and offer 7.5. A, a transfer offer for Benucci. That is a lot of money, but I don't plan on selling him. We do have a lot of centre backs, though. If any of them I'm planning on letting go, it's probably Caceres, but even then, I don't really want to let him go. Okay, so I'm not going to play any of the group stage games. We've actually got a game against Arsenal. However, obviously, we've got a lot of players missing. We actually don't have. Asamoah's the only legit. Um, the winger that we've got, uh, but we are going to play Pogba there in the Cambridge and Hernandez, Marchisio is still there, um, also Sandro is out, so Everest come in to uh, the left wing, sorry, the left back spot. Okay, let's go ahead and simulate this match, I'm really hoping that we can get a win here, hopefully, just being on the left, I feel a lot more comfortable, whether it's actually a legit home game or not, Mandzukic uh, picks up an early goal there, and a yellow card for Lichsteiner, 11 minutes in, but that's actually a brilliant start, 1-0, um, after one minute, that's really good. And Dybala doubles the lead there. Gabriel picks up an injury for them. And uh, Dybala makes it three. This is a domination, really. Um, I was going to go ahead and skip it, but we may as well just continue uh, looking at it. Hopefully no injuries are picked up, though. That could be a little bit annoying. Walcott scores him. Asamoah scores a fourth. And a fourth one win over Arsenal. That's absolute domination. Obviously, I'm not playing. And it doesn't look like they've played their stronger side. But in the end, 4-1 victory. Well-deserved. Okay, our second game up against Valencia. Hopefully we can get another win here. We are listed as uh, the team on the right, so that's a little bit of a worry for me. Hernandez picks up an injury very early on as well. Hopefully it's nothing major, so that could be quite annoying. He hasn't even gone off or anything, so can't be uh, can't be too bad. Piatti puts him in front after 29 minutes, and it's uh, not looking too good for us. Everything's not rosy over in Juventus. There we see Hernandez going off there. 
come on, pick up a goal, lads. Akasar makes it 2-0 to them. We do pick up another goal through uh, Dybala. He's actually been scoring a lot of goals. They miss a penalty. Come on. And no uh, no late goal for us to equalize. So that is uh, a little bit annoying, but nothing too major that we can't come back from, I reckon. Okay, we see Hernanes is out for nine days. So that doesn't affect us long term, but just for this little tournament, that is a little bit annoying. 29.5 million for Alonso and Signe. I hope not. Let's take uh, SMI out of the deal because I don't think they're really that interested in him. Let's go 16 and a half million, I reckon. I think that might be able to get it. 16 and a half is a little bit below his value, but always off the of below their value. So they aren't budging on Hesse. 14 million. Let's go 8.25. Let's try and just spend as little as possible on him. I'm pretty sure he's a decent player. Probably below 80, but still. I totally realise I haven't done any training so far, so let's go ahead and add some people onto trading. Dybala, I think, should be someone we should definitely be uh, going for. He's got great ball control already, so let's have a look at his shooting. Let's go to that. He actually looks like a really, like a pretty all-round player at the moment. Um, who else can we go for? Wingers. We don't really have any wingers. Uh, let's go for Lamina. He's only on loan, so we're not going to go for him. Uh, let's go for Storaro. He looks like someone we could try and maybe progress into that CDM role. Um, defending, he already seems pretty good. So let's go for this, the old Rondo. Uh, what else? Who could we go for? Marata, another good prospect for us. Very, very young. Um, what's his dribbling like? Dribbling is okay, but let's try and get it a little bit better. Um, what else? Who else could we go for? Centre-backs. Regani, definitely a must. Um, El Rondo. Yep. El Rondo will do for him. Any keepers that look Pretty promising. NATO, we can try and build him up possibly um, over the next season to, you know, hopefully take on uh, Buffon's role for next season. We don't have to buy anybody. That would be nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and simulate all those drills. Four, three, two, one. All pretty shit, but it's a first time thing. Uh, none of them obviously progressing that much, but uh, yeah, I'm actually not even sure how this training works in terms of. Um, in terms of like their ratings, I know sometimes they will like go up by a little bit even though they get A's and one time they'll get an F and just like go up by a massive amount, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. Okay, so Aurea is rated 81. That's actually a really good rating. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in a bid for him. I reckon maybe 12 million for him. Look, they're asking for 25 and a half. Oh, fuck. Aurea is actually a... Had a bid for 18 and a half from Barcelona. All right, we're out of that one. Aurea, sorry, lad. Too fair. He's also a bit of a cunt anyway. So, yeah, I'm not really too uh, disappointed at not getting him. Okay, transfer offer just straight up rejected for Insigne. Uh, what can we do? What can we do? Let's go 17 and a half. I reckon that could be uh, the sweet spot there. Real Madrid still pushing for 14 million on Hesse Rodriguez. Let's go for nine. Let's go just for nine. I think that should be able to get him. If not, we'll just loan him in, to be honest. Like, sporadic team player. We can just go for that. Pretty easy. Okay, so as long as we win this game, we're pretty much guaranteed to go through. So, fingers crossed we get this win. Um, there's only one change to the side, and that's uh, Hernandez actually got injured a little bit. He's not fully injured. He could have played, but I've decided to throw Dabalo into the camp position. Morata comes into the starting side. And, uh, yeah, that's the only changes. Uh, New York, they actually got a few d decent players there. Uh, I'll see Iriola, I'm pretty sure. I recognise him. Davi V on the bench, Lampard on the bench, Pirlo on the bench as well. But at two 0 feeling pretty comfortable. Menzukic and Licksteiner um, with the goals. You see, we're making a lot of uh, a lot of subs at the moment. Nucci coming on, and there it is, three 0 Pirlo picks up an injury, not good for them. But it looks to be a three 0 victory. I'm pretty happy with that. And we are progressing to uh, the finals as well. So that'll be uh, played in this episode, I think. Okay, tournament prize money. We get an extra two point. 1 million pretty much. Transfer offer rejected for Oreo. They've had accepted. They've accepted that Barcelona offer. So we're just going to go ahead and take the exact same people who we trained before and just continue to uh, to train them. Now, I'm not, I know some people just train the one person with a whole bunch of stuff, but I'd rather just, uh, you know, train everybody. Marassi with an A. Very impressed. Okay, transfer offer is unacceptable for Yessi. Um, let's go ahead and just loan him. We'll take him on a two-year loan, I reckon. That could be all right. I would go for the, you know, buy at the end, but it doesn't really work. It, it is a bit broken. 
Okay, so our first game, it's a semi-finals, taking on Houston Dynamo. Should be a pretty easy win for us. And had I just simulated it, it would have been an easy win. But let's go ahead and play. Uh, we need to sort of get a little bit of form with our side. Need to work out if this is a formation for me as well. Uh, also, it's going to be a bit hard to tell just because our side isn't the greatest compared to... Well, it is good, obviously. But in terms of the side I want to go with for the first the first game of the season of uh, Serie A, it's not the team. It's not close to being the team. All right, here we go. Playing at the Estadio El Medio, uh, you know, the, the huge stadium in somewhere, somewhere in South America. Anyway, with our team lineup, Buffon, Luke Steiner, Barzagli, Chiellini, Patrice Evra at the back line, Marquisio in the stadium, Asimov, Pogba on the wings, Dybala in the cam, Mandzukic and Marada, uh, the strike force. So I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty, you know, excited about playing with this side. Houston Dynamo, who cares? Alright, here we go. I'm not sure what sort of setting we'll play on. Maybe possession. I haven't really played too much possession. I usually press, but I'm not really sure this is the side to, uh, you know, press the ball too much. It's good. Diabala. Go yourself. Go, Diabala. Fake shot. Shoot. Shoot. Oh my god, a back heel for our first goal. I think it's Mandzukic too. I honestly wasn't expecting to score so early on. It is Mandzukic. Actually, like, I used to play career mode with this onesie one. I couldn't score for shit. This, I'm just finding it so easy now to play FIFA. Wow. Mandzukic, four goals already in this tournament. He's had a great tournament. And kind of justifies us picking him ahead of uh, Morata and a few of those other guys. Dabalo as well. Here we go. Mandzukic through the middle. Houston a trash man. Morata. Cross it. Probably didn't need to cross it. But there's a corner. That's some nice play. Lich Steiner up the wing there. He's got plenty of pace, Lich Steiner. Well, at least he used to. Get a cross in. It's an early ball. Good stuff. Oh, shit. Just wide. It's a good bit of play. That's great defense. Starting the counter attack. Dabella making a run there. We see the overlap and run there. It's Murata. Oh, my God. Absolutely butchered it. I wanted to play it back into Mandzukic, but obviously it didn't work out. And there's, uh, once again, Aguero making the move from Man City to Bayern. 52 million. Holy shit. We do have Kadir on the bench as well. I think he can actually play center back, in my opinion, as well. So he should be a, a good player for us. Dybala, going for himself. Plays the ball to Asamoah. That's a pretty poor touch. An absolute touch of a rapist right there. Play it through. There we go. There's a goal. No, it's not a goal. Pogba misses. Honestly, it wasn't supposed to go to Pogba, I'll be honest. But, I mean, in the end, should have finished that one. So much pressure. Absolutely been dominating this. I kind of have to question whether this is a legendary, but I can assure you, it actually is. Well, so we are playing against some pretty shit... Like, we're actually playing against some shitters here. Oh, this is incredible play here. Where's... He's offside. Fuck. <laughs> that is pathetic. Houston have got absolutely nothing. Playing it through the middle, man. Zukic. That's a foul. And he's... Oh, shit. He's injured. And there's no foul. Oh, man. This is... This is terrible. Oh, no. He's broke his ankle or something. What the hell? Thankfully, Zaza is actually a pretty good player. But, man, Zukic, we saw him... You know how good he is with the back here earlier. Uh, this is terrible for us. As you can see, absolutely smashed there. Alright, that is a brilliant first half. That's only 1-0. We did get an injury to Mandzukic. Our play was absolutely incredible there. I'm really digging this formation. Dybala Cam's actually been electric. I mean, look at that. They've had the more possession, finally enough. But we've had 5 shots, 2 in target, and the 1 goal. Pretty good half. Just passing it around. Looking for Zaza there. Plays a quick ball there, Dybala. There we go. That's a nice ball. Pogba. Plays it back to Dybala. Oh, Dybala. Just a little bit too slow. Maybe should have first time uh, shot it just then. Alright, you ain't getting past Paul, mate. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Cuts back inside. Zaza. Shoot! Fuck! Should have scored at some point there. Okay, Pogba's gonna whip it in. Oh, it's good! Go! Damn, off target. Who was it who uh, shot, though? Dybala, was it? We play it to Murata. Back to Dybala. Dybala, go on. Zaza, he shoots. Falls back to Asamoah. Is he onside? Yes, he is. 
Cross it back in. Zaza gets to it. There's a goal. Zaza scores. That was a really nice cross. Good work, Asamoah. Asamoah is actually really impressing me in this game. It's nice having people who are, you know, got a bit of pace in them as well as being big fuckers who can just get in the box we can cross through. Just like we did with Zaza, Mandzukic as well, Maratha. We've actually got some really nice forwards in this game. We find can't really throw it well, so we kick it out instead. Play forward. There we go. Murata's through on goal. Oh, and he loses it. Murata, you fucker. He's got across to make that interception. He saw it coming. Plays it through to Abella. Go. Go, to, go, son. Takes it around the keeper a little bit. And that's an easy finish there. 3-0. A well-deserved win. And that is secured. Dybala. Maybe I'm out of the match. Okay, so we're going to make a few subs here. My kids are moving to the cam position. Kadira coming on. Pogba going off. And Storaro coming on. Not the, you know, he's a CDM. But at the same time, he's got good work rates. And, you know, he should be able to do a job. Here we go. Counter attacks on. Plays it forward. Morata should be able to cut back inside here. Yeah, that's good stuff there. Storaro. Oh, just didn't have the pace. I kind of butchered that one. But it's 3 0 up. I don't really care. Okay, what a performance that was. 3 0. Total domination. Total domination. Now, um, yeah, the, winning this tournament isn't super important to me, but it does give us some more transfer fees. And although we have a huge transfer budget of like 40-something million, obviously every little bit helps. So another 2 million here or there will help a lot. Man, the match went to Diabella. I tend to agree. I thought he had a really good game. Um, I'm also very happy with Asamo. He got an 8.1 there. Uh, he would have came in second. Okay, so we're playing Man City in the final. Uh, I'm actually really confident in whipping them, to be honest. Although, it's a big difference. Man City to Houston Dynamo. Okay, so we get basically another 2.8 million there. Also, looking at... Oh, shit. Mario Mandzukic broke an ankle after three months. That's very, very annoying. Oh, well, fuck. They just keep wanting more for Insigne. Oh. They've actually rejected the loan offer for... Yesi. Oh, shit. That throws my plans in disarray. Looks like Insigne is not coming as well as, um, you know, Aurea, Yessi. All my uh, main targets aren't coming, so that's a little bit annoying. Sorry to inquire for Alexis Sanchez. Maybe we can get a cheeky little, uh, you know, bid for him. Felipe Anderson, 79 rated, I think, from memory. We will give him a bit of a scout. Let's inquire for him. He's someone who I do quite uh, like quite a bit. El Sharawi, I would love to get him. However, he's on loan, so we can't do that. Kito as well, could be another one, let's scout him. Kishna as well, let's give him a scout as well. Okay, here we are, Manchester City in the final. Let's go ahead and get into the game. As you can see, legendary, six minutes. T lineup news, uh, only the one change, and it's on the bench, actually the starting side, I should say, not just on the bench. Zaza comes into the starting side, I forgot Mandzukic got hurt, and Zaza didn't start the last game. So Zaza is in the starting side, and coming into for Mandzukic spot on the bench is actually going to be Hernanes coming back from injury. All right, here we go. Century Link Field. I have no idea where that is, if it's a real stadium or not. It doesn't really matter. This is where the final's being held. And there's what we're playing for, the prestigious American Challenge Cup. I think that's what it's called. Player to watch, Diabala. Of course he's the player to watch. See, Mandzukic also was a top goal scorer. Shame he ended up injured. Okay, our team... Oh, sorry, it's Manchester City's team lineup first up. Uh, actually looks uh, pretty decent. They're pretty stock standard. Wilfred Burning up front. Should be able to take advantage of that. I have no idea who Garcia is. I'm um, surprised there's no Raheem Sterling, so I don't know. Dean McHale is quite slow. Diabala up against him. This could be a bit of a field day here. There's a the kickoff to uh, to the grand final. Let's just fuck him up. 3-0, I'm hoping. Playing it backwards there. Just playing nice and calm. No need to rush things. Immediately noticing we have way less time on the ball. That's what we did last game. Maybe Houston Dynamo were just that bad. Fucking hell. That's a good shot. David Silva, I think it was. That's a bad header there. Patrice Evra. I know you used to play for Manchester. Wrong Manchester, though, buddy. Oh, that's a good play. That's a great save from Buffon. We're actually under some serious pressure for the first time. Make a run, Morata. And he doesn't. Disappointing. Plays it forward there, Murata it is. That's the run that we want. No, it's not. Fucking hell, Murata, it's your fault. Oh, Marquise here absolutely cleans him up there. Fucking hell, I thought that was in. Whoa. I was like, what the hell is Buffon doing? He hasn't even moved. Although the game's not going exactly our way, I still feel like 
We're going to win this one pretty comfortably in the end. Good ball there, Dybala. Go on, get it. He still has it. Brought down in the box. No penalty. He took a bit of a dive. And that's half time. Uh, obviously, no goals have been scored. I feel like it's coming now. I've said it earlier. I think there's going to be a goal coming pretty soon in the second half. Hopefully, it's for us. I should mention, they had like, we've had 34% possession in this uh, in the first half. So, you know, you can't really win a game like that. Plays it through. Pogba. Shoot. Pogba scores. Wide and nil. There we go. I called it. An early goal coming. Didn't expect it from Paul Pogba, to be honest. But that was a great finish there. One nil. It is to Juventus. Here we go. Murata. Play it down to Pogba again. Takes a big touch. Oh, just too big of a touch. Fucking hell. Ruined it. Ian Archo on for Boney. They've gone for a bit more pace rather than... Uh-oh. A bit more pace than uh, size up front. Oh, it nearly worked out perfectly for him. I think it was Ian Archo. Actually, it's Yara Turo. Okay, we need to make some changes urgently. Dybala is really offering a lot. Zaza, not so much. What we're going to do is bring on Hernanez to come in at cam spot. Just sort of feel, make us feel a little bit more secure up front. Dybala chasing as he does. I'm not sure he's going to be able to outlast the whole game, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh oh Oh, God damn. Nearly a penalty for them, too. I went for the slide tackle. There we go. Asamoah up the wing. Nice ball. Dabala. Oh, that's a good run. Murata should finish this. Murata should be scoring here. And he does so. 2-0. There's the, the game sealer, you would think. Murata makes it 2-0. 69 minutes in. 70 minutes, effectively. It's only a few seconds off. That was a uh, really good work there. I'm not sure. I can't remember who passed the ball, but good stuff. It's actually his first goal. Wow, didn't realize that. First goal of uh, this whole tournament. That's pretty poor for a striker, but whatever. Okay, if we're effectively playing with a 4-4-1-1, just having two CDMs. Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident about this win. While we're at it, let's get Barzagli off. We'll bring on, uh, I think we'll bring on Benucci. Quick it, get it up. That's a great ball. Hernanez is through on goal here. Can Hernanez score? He should. Oh, that's a brilliant save there by Joe Hart. Wow. Plays it forward, Murata making a great run. Back post, there we go, there's a third goal. Who is it? Who is it who actually scored it? There's a backflip, was it Hernanez? I think it might have been Hernanez, we'll see in a second. It's a great run by Murata to start it off though. It was Hernanez, he's actually come in and done a great job. Not long to go, there's the interception. Plays it through the middle there, Hernanez is through on goal, can he score his second? Joe Hart takes it around him. That's another good uh, stay there from Joe Hart. Didn't quite take it around him. Would have been a nice to get a fourth goal there in the 90th minute. They're really pushing all out in Man City, but it's going to be to no avail. There we go. Heads it. Oh, that's a bad header. Murata should have finished that one. However, that is the win. 3-0 for us. Uh, it is only a friendly little tournament, but I'm pretty happy with it. Shows that... Uh, you know, we're in fine form leading into leading into the season. And like I said in uh, early in the episode, you know, we haven't even got our main side going. We've got no proper wingers. I mean, Asimov did a good job, but, um, you know, Kudrado should be a, a better winger, you'd think, than Pogba. Pogba, obviously, a better player, but in terms of playing on the wing, and uh, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with our strikers. But there you can see our first silverware uh, of the season. And according to the board, we should be having a lot more silverware as well. And there's the prize money. We get another 3.6 million to add to the total of the transfer budget. So we've got quite a big uh, transfer budget. Anyway, we've got a transfer offer and a few inquiries. And then we'll end up uh, ending the episode. And it's a transfer offer for poor Pogba. How about you can go fuck yourself? 63 million for Alexis Sanchez. Uh, that's all well and good, but uh, that is not happening. Philippe Anderson is from a rival, but let's go ahead and throw in a little bit for him. They didn't want to... Uh, you know, they didn't want any bar of it before, but let's just throw in an offer anyways, who knows. Anyways, that's where this video is going to end. Hopefully you did enjoy it. M might be a bit of a long one, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it was a pretty entertaining one. Now, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. It's quite important, first episode, as well as, uh, you know, sharing it's quite important as well. And uh, so, yeah, like and subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at MrLukeMyT, Facebook page in the description below, and I'll see you guys for the next video.